Hello and welcome to video 5 in my Q&A series for AS and A2 level biology. This video is going to be on antibodies and monoclonal antibodies. This is the second time I've uploaded this video as there were some issues with sound, so I apologise for that. Remember, of course, that if you've got a question about AS or A2 level biology that you'd like answering or a concept that you'd like explaining, you can email me at biologybyjp at gmail.com. Let's have a look at antibodies then and what we're going to get through. Well, we're going to look at antibody structure. We're going to look at monoclonal antibodies and what they are, and we're going to look at the production of monoclonal antibodies. Let's get started. So here's what antibodies are com comprised of. Um, they're comprised of four polypeptide chains arranged in a very specific way. We have the heavy chains, which are the long chains. We have, bound to those near the ends, we have the light chains. There are a couple of key regions that you need to know about, and those are the constant region, which is the same for every single antibody that ever was and ever will be, and then also at the ends, we have the variable region. Now, this variable region changes depending on which antigen the antibody is specific to, and that forms the antigen binding sites on the end. We've also got a receptor binding site on the other side, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. So let's move on and look at monoclonal antibodies and what they are. So monoclonal antibodies are antibodies which have been produced by one type of B cell and they provide antibodies that are specific to only one antigen. So most of the time when you get infected with a pathogen they have many antigens on their surface and therefore lots of different B cells will be produced to produce lots of different antibodies. Now this is different these antibodies have been produced by only one type of B cell, and therefore all of the antibodies that are produced have come from one clone, or monoclonal, um, and they're specific to that one single antigen. And these guys are great because they can be used in cancer therapy to target antigens on cancer cells. So the way we do that is we attach to one of our monoclonal antibodies, we attach a poison or a cytotoxic chemical, and then what can happen is there's our nasty looking cancer cell. We can send away this magic bullet, which is the theory that, uh, that explains this. Um, we send away our magic bullet, which binds to the antigens and delivers the toxin or the poison. And then, poof, bye bye cancer. So this is used in breast cancer therapy uh, with a, a drug called Herceptin, which uses monoclonal antibodies in very much this way. So how do we produce these things? Well, to begin with, we fuse an antibody-forming cell, which is a plasma cell, uh, with tumour cells from mice. Now, tumour cells are great because they just divide, 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 and we can produce lots and lots of, of lovely monoclonal antibodies. But what we did is when we fuse these two things together, we form these things called hybridomas. And not all hybridomas can produce antibodies. So the first thing we must do, really, is check to see which hybridomas can and which hybridomas can't. We ditch the ones that can't, and we keep the ones that can. From there, we can clone those viable hybridomas and isolate the monoclonal antibodies that have been produced from them. So let's have a look at a more visual version of that. So here we go. We can use a mouse to do this, and we inject an antigen into the mouse. The mouse is then going to respond by producing lots and lots and lots of plasma cells with the complementary antibody to that antigen. At the same time, we can take a tumour cell and then we fuse those two things together to produce our hybridoma. We select for the ones that can produce the antibodies and then we can produce lots and lots and lots of monoclonal antibodies that can be used in the way that I said earlier. So they can be used to treat heart disease, colon and breast cancer, leukemia, non-Hodgkin lymphoma, immune, they can be used as immunosuppressants. There's loads and loads of ways we can use this. We can also use them as radioactive tagging or fluorescent tagging. So we send in a monoclonal antibody with a tag that we can read with a piece of equipment um, that will only bind to specific cells with specific antigens on the surface. Really, really cool piece of technology there. And that's everything. Everyone gets it in a real fluster about monoclonal antibodies, but it's dead straightforward. You produce the plasma cells with only one type of antibody, fuse them with a tumour to form a hybridoma, and then you just produce lots and lots and lots of monoclonal antibodies. 
Remember, if you've got a question that you'd like answering or a query that you'd like explaining or anything like that for AS or A2 level biology, you can email me at biologybyjp at gmail.com. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.